Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorand. First of all, thank you all for the amazing response after the video I made this Saturday. I'm sorry to have made you all worry. In today's video I want to talk about my future goals and where I'm headed and where I see myself going in the future. Now, first of all, I woke up this morning and I saw all the pictures and the paintings you guys made. I saw all the comments you posted. I read through them all. I didn't respond to them all, but I tried. And I want to say to all of you, to uh, all of you on Discord and all of you on YouTube, uh, don't worry about me. Don't worry. I have it figured out. I will, get, I will figure it out. I will make it work. I will find a way, and that way might not always be YouTube, that way might not always be uh, my blog, that way might not always be writing, but I will always figure it out. This one is from Xrusa, thank you so much for this. This one is from Fibonacci, an ENFP that studies biology. This one is from Fairy of Something in INFJ. Yo-Yo the INFP says, follow your dreams with your whole heart and never give up. What is made with passion from the heart is called art. And here's a picture of the cutest puppy. Another really cute puppy. Oh my god. Here's something from an INTP. Not too good with emotional support, but do know that you and your work mean a lot to me. I can understand how you feel and know that this has to be an awful thing to struggle with while trying to stay positive. Nonetheless, I hope you know that there are many people who support you, who want to see you succeed and keep this going for a long time. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. I know, and truth of the matter is, I'm kind of attached to you guys now. Now I feel I have to see this journey through to the end. Now I feel like I have to explore and follow through on these ideas until I have written everything I feel I have left to say on this topic. Now I feel I have to make this. I have to finish this. And the truth of the matter is I'm a very all or nothing kind of person. I've always given 150% in everything I've done. When I was in politics, everyone knew me as Mr. Politics. Everyone knew me as the person that was the most committed, the most invested, the most energetic, the most passionate for what I believed in. I've never done anything I cared about half-assed in my entire life. I've never been able to physically. I didn't have the energy to stop myself from doing it. I was on a tidal wave I couldn't stop. And my next goals are maybe small, but all together, they're quite big. Now, I'm putting all the lessons I learned while I wrote The Power of Persona together in writing an INFJ handbook. A handbook exploring all the emotional issues and subtypes and the unique consciousness of an INFJ personality type. Now I'm revisiting and finally getting back to creating online courses, stimulating and fun courses that you can take to learn about the differences between different cognitive functions. So you can finally master and tell the part, the 16 cognitive functions and how they look differently and how you use them differently. I'm also looking at courses in the Enneagram so that you can also learn to tell apart different Enneagram types and learn rec to recognize in yourself and other people what Enneagram types they are in and what, how they express that. And I'm still, still daydreaming about the times when I can go to conferences and convents on the Enneagram, on the MTI, and share my thoughts and experiences with other intelligent and smart people who want to learn and have knowledge that I need to grow and to keep on improving. Yeah, I would like to do a TED talk someday. I would like to be out there. I would like to travel and meet people across the world who are interested in these subjects. And I'm still having so much fun exploring these ideas. I'm still enjoying myself so much every day when I sit down and write, every day when I'm making videos, every day while I'm out and MTI meetups. 
while I'm chatting through on Discord or meeting people on the Facebook forums for the MBTI. For those of you that struggled with finding your passion, use that time when you don't have that passion to explore new ideas. Don't be afraid that these ideas won't last. Practice, practice, practice having ideas, being creative and exploring new topics until you find that passion that is so big that it simply engulfs you and takes you over completely. I think we all have an idea or two that are meant for us, that are ours, that we can do whatever we want with, that we are the spokespersons of. And now it's time to me to get back to making regular personality psychology videos. Now it's back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. See you guys later. Thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.